Hello and welcome to the AI Tree series. In this video, we are going to cover basic concepts of the AI Tree, and we are also going to implement an easy example of AI character movement logic. So, there are several concepts that I want to cover in this video, and the first concept is behavior trees. So, behavior trees visually represent AI logic and process AI logic. So, what you see on the right is an example of a behavior tree, and as you can see, it consists of nodes. You can create all kinds of complex aged behaviors using behavior trees. Second concept is nodes. So, as you can see, nodes are parts of behavior trees. You can create and connect them in a visual editor, and each node has some functionality attached to it. So, the pieces are, that make up a behavior tree on the right are nodes. Well, and uh, there are three kinds of nodes. First group are composites. So, composites define the root of a branch and base rules for how the branch is executed. Tasks are the second group. So, tasks are basically nodes that do things. The third group are decorators. So, decorators define whether or not a branch or a single node can be executed. And they can also change their own node state. So, now let's learn a bit about their execution flow. So, here you can see that the AI tree is executed from top to bottom and from left to right. So, as you can see, Composite node here has an index of 0, which means that it's executed first. And task nodes have indexes from 1 to 3, which means that task 1 will be executed in the first place, then task 2, and then task 3. So indexes from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3. And the last concept that I want to cover today is Blackboard. So, Blackboard is basically the brain of AI, and it stores key values. Behavior trees uses these key values to make up its decisions. So, now we've covered all the basic concepts, and we are ready to create an example. So, now let's create our example. For this tutorial, I am going to use standard Unity Asset Pack which provides us with this bot character. So, we'll have our character moving between random positions. To do that, let's create a behavior tree. So, we're going to right-click, create, renowned games, and behavior tree. So, let's open it. So, here you can see we have a root node. So, our first we need to Pick a random position. To do that, let's create a node, tasks, navmesh, and random position. So this node picks a random position on the navmesh. But we have to store this position somewhere. So to do that, let's create a blackboard. Let's go create renown games blackboard. And now let's assign this blackboard to our behavior tree. So, here you can see Blackboard. So, let's open our Blackboard, and here you can see all the key values. Now it has only one key, its transform key called self. We will create new key. Let's create a vector key and call it position. So, we can close it now. And uh, so, here in our random position node, we are going to select key position. We'll set origin to self, and we will manually choose a radius of 10. So, after picking random position, we need to our character move to it. So, to do that, we have to create node, tasks, navmesh, and move to. So, here we have to select key, 
position. And after moving our character to random position, we have to wait. So we'll create node, tasks, common, and wait. And here we will manually assign waiting time of 3 seconds. So now we need our nodes to get executed one after another. So to do that, we'll create a composite node sequencer. So now we connect our root node to sequencer and we connect our task node to sequencer. And then we will right click and auto arrange just to make it look prettier. So once again, first we pick a random position, then we move to it and then we wait for three seconds. And all these nodes get executed one after another because they're connected to a sequencer. And our AI tree picks key values from this blackboard that we've created. So we can close it now. And in order to assign our behavior tree to our character, we need to add component behavior runner. And we will drag and drop our behavior tree into this field. So now let's click play and see if it works. So now, as you can see, our character is moving between random positions and waiting in between the runs. So congratulations, we've successfully implemented simple AI character movement logic using AI tree.